Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth video of Payments by series. In this video, we are going to look at clearing and settlement. So what are we going to look in this video? In this video, we will cover what is clearing, how is the clearing file generated, who are the various parties involved and what is the process. We will also look at clearing files of various important schemes. And we'll briefly look at what does settlement mean. In the last video, we looked at authorizations and what does dual messaging system mean. We discussed that in the authorization step, the merchant only takes an authorization from the issuer to proceed with the transaction further. And at the issuer end, the funds are actually put on hold. Now let's look at what does clearing and settlement mean. Clearing is the step where merchant submits the transaction information to the acquirer who further submits to the scheme. Scheme receives such clearing files from all the acquirers and sorts out the clearing files and creates an issuing file pertaining to that particular issuer based on the bin. Since in clear clearing, the actual transaction amounts are submitted by the merchant. Fees like interchange, commission, etc. are calculated based on the final transaction amount. If at all, if there is any fees that are to be posted, those also are exchanged in this particular step. Settlement is where the actual movement of funds happen between various parties, especially between schemes and acquirer and schemes and the issuer. Now let's look at how a clearing file is generated. Merchants batch a set of transactions, say usually end of every day, and submit it for settlement to the acquirer. In a given POS machine, there's a button called a settlement, so the merchant clicks that particular button to submit the settlement. Merchants with huge set of uh, transactions can also submit multiple batches on a given day. And merchants get paid only after they do the settlement to the acquirer. The next step is, Acquirers collect the set of transactions from all the merchants and the terminals and creates a clearing file that is to be submitted to the schemes. Acquirers can submit multiple clearing files on a given day, depending on the cycles that they have agreed with the schemes. Schemes sort these files that is received from various acquirers and creates a final clearing file and sends it to the issuer. In this process, Schemes also computes interchange fee and various other fees and, uh, and passes it along in the clearing file because the clearing file actually contains the final transaction amount. It also provides ser services like currency conversion, etc., as add on services to the various members. I want to now introduce an important life cycle with respect to clearing and settlement. It is also called the presentment life cycle. Presentment is a word where each party presents transaction information to other for various other reasons. The first presentment is what we had looked in the previous slide where acquirer submits to issuer via schemes. In case, if there is any dispute with the transaction, the issuer raises a chargeback with an appropriate reason called as reason quotes uh, and these chargeback messages are sent as an outgoing file from the issuer to the acquirer. And acquirer has a second opportunity to submit with further information to the issuer. It is called as second presentment. Finally, there is an optional step called a second chargeback that an issuer has to raise for a subsequent dispute or chargeback to the acquirer. If the issue between the issuer and the acquirer doesn't settle for the given transaction, it is settled via arbitration. And that is very rare. Usually chargeback, chargebacks get settled within the first uh, chargeback or the second presentment at the max. We shall look at a dispute life cycle in a separate video later on. But I thought this is an important uh, life cycle for us to understand given we are discussing clearing and settlement. I just want to provide a brief on the various schemes and their clearing files. Uh, each scheme has their own clearing system and file formats and number of clearing cycles on a given day. This table provides a quick glimpse of these files. MasterCard's clearing system is called GCMS and it generates six files uh, on a given day and no files on Sunday. 
It is also referred to as IPM files. Uh, you would have heard of the number T112 files. It generates a fixed file format. In case of Visa, Visa's clearing system is called VisaNet Settlement System and it generates one cycle for, per day and it optionally uh, generates separate files for domestic and international transactions. Visa also generates a fixed file format. Rupees uh, clearing system is called RCGS and it generates one file per a day and it generates in an XML file format. Lastly, Amex, uh, its clearing system is called AEGN and uh, it generates one, uh, one cycle per a day and optionally generates separate files for domestic and international. And Amex also uses a fixed file format. Now let's look in brief about settlement. Settlement is where the actual transfer of funds happen between various parties like acquirer to merchant, acquirer to schemes, schemes and issuer. Acquirers compute net settlement amount with the merchants based on various fees like interchange, commissions, etc. and they settle with the merchant. Schemes compute the net settlement position on the debits, credit and also fees and any other charges to settle with. During onboarding with the schemes, issuers and acquirers set up a nose to and nose to accounts where they exchange funds between each parties. Clearing is a very important step where it helps to calculate the final net settlement amount that is to be exchanged between these parties. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the video. I'd be happy to see your feedback or any queries and suggestions. Do like the video if you learned something from it.